hello guys welcome back to my channel tires game app so um today what do we have what do we have um so today we'll be talking about how to build your team to the highest level should i say to the greatest or should i say to make them the best in the league anyone you want so um we just because once you enter a team practically obje all the objectives is for you to find a way to um become the best in the league even the um the clubs at the bottom or the, they want to be um they want to be the best so they keep giving you competitions or should i say competition objectives um that you follow according to the strength of the team at the moment so this is mine i think I, i'm surpassing most of them it's only in the spending now that i'm lacking which um, is caused by the things that i'm building um i should be able to curtail that soon so this is my competition my sorry my objectives so how do you think i was able to get here do you think um i was uh, just started um from should i say um from the first day of the season to start winning matches and doing everything they say being able to do all of that no it took a process i will have to show you that with my uh, my manager record no um sometimes it will be like those posting or should i say I'll come to my channel i'll say only the good ones like i just started and started moving everything fast no you know that i've thought of everything i've actually tried it out before i see that it is working so this is um shit okay the records are not here okay, yeah i think i should find it look at the record for 2023 stroke sorry 2022 stroke 2023 season this is how i started before i started trying out everything and see that it works i lost 12 games I won only 55% of my games and had no trophies. So uh, I nearly got sacked. Yes, I will, I will say that. But now you can see um, that the the percentage is different. Though I'm still losing matches, I'm working towards that. My defense is not that strong yet. I'm working towards that. But now it's better. So look at the records. Yeah, look at the attendance. Look at my record win. Look at everything. I've gone a 75 games unbeaten before. And look at this this the trophy room and the hall of fame i think i'm third position now yeah so how do you think i've been able to do this i didn't just wake up one day and start doing so when you enter a team um there are some um facilities or should i say some things that the teams stand on one is their training center here it's going to help you um to build the players not just only those you are playing with at the moment but even those whom you are going to buy and i prefer buying younger players who have um they still have um the opportunity to grow so and when i buy them it will be this um training center that will help them get to the potential which i know they have in them also when you train your players their fitness increases for matches that also serves you that um you at least you'll be winning matches and you won't get sacked also you can be giving um that as an objective to build facilities and i think when you're entering this facility and the club zone should be the cheapest for you to invest in at the moment now about investing in the club um zone um here you have um your see um the last time i signed this my club zone facility wasn't up to this 10 level 10 so um the um i, I would say this budget is very very low for a team like mine i have many players to pay but um when you when you fully develop your your yeah your facility you get many um yeah things like this you get many bonuses from um, both tv revenue the match day and all that so you see that money will start flowing in into your team sometimes you see your weekly income you don't know how it's coming about these are all the calculations these are where they are coming from and that will enable you to get your um your hand and um, and a lot of money that you can use to um, sign players if you are a type that likes signing and also after that facility then you can now look into your stadium and your youth academy anyone you decide to build first or anyone you can do both at the same time because now you you really have a lot of money i remember in my first season i didn't have 87 million to spare or to spend on anything okay i think the last the last one i've been building is already over so i'll have to do another one so now i won't even have to think about what i'm spending on the stadium because the income will keep flowing and even when um this one con um when i'm done building this aspect this part of the stadium now it also increases the income so i don't bother about it anymore 
the only thing i'm bothered about now is that i'll have to sell some players who are not performing just to meet my um financial um the objective they gave me for finances i think i'm behind now but also the fact that my players are doing well and i, I can win the trophy i can win many trophies will also help because there will be prize money from those trophies so now you see that there is a relationship between building your uh, facilities getting money getting players and then the club going higher the more you get um younger players train them the more um their abilities will grow sorry um i meant to go to yeah the more their abilities will grow so i was giving um to grow the club's value um um over 752 it was 700 when i was giving this and you see the deadline is still 2027 so i still have time though but how did i um how am i able to even reach there even before the time that's because i bought players young players at that time i'll show you the age of my players now young players at that time look at them and within the course of two years i've been training them they have been increasing their values have been increasing look at them so their values have been going up high and high so that's why i have already passed what i've given already because i've invested in the players you don't not when you they say increase club value you'll be looking for extra facilities to build because you have already built that you have built that as the foundation now the building the club value is building um, it from the squad so that's how you develop a team and okay then you can go into the scouting network i don't use the scouting network most often just because i know the players i want by myself and i go to the market and take them but for you i don't know if you um if you are sure of the market as well but the scouting network network could help but i would advise that it would be the last thing you will have to develop so you will start with the training go to the club zone the youth academy then the stadium and then the type of players you buy so i don't know i should look into the type of players you buy okay i've done that already but also there is one part you are missing there's one part that we're missing the part is that after you've built your training there will be a lot of space and there you can train many players now this is what i i usually do when i'm i think i should save money or when i think i should build a a new generation for the future so i'll go here i'll search for okay i'll just leave any position then i'll go this way i'll search for the young players available okay let's just do 17. Now these players here now, for someone to have reached the, um, this value at the age of 17 means that they are an exceptional talent. Look at this, some of them at 16. I won't regret buying any of these people. And you know the funny thing, most of them, okay, these ones have been signed. I think the teams are rising up now, but most of them at times are free. Most of them at times are free. Okay, I've signed one already. This one is from my academy. This Hagan is from my academy. So, but these guys, this one, I can sign this one now for free. And you see him in the next two to three months, he's already at 20, 30 million. And I can sell him off, or he can be of value to the team. That's how to grow. So that's one thing that people don't know. You keep buying in the market, buying the, why you can actually get most of these good next generation players for free. So I believe that that's a tip I've given you today. Maybe you should, um, you should, you should give me a tip for that. It wasn't easy. <laughs> don't you think so? okay you drop and any comments you have in the comment section um like our video subscribe if you haven't done so i'll see you guys in my next video thanks